And now, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Hearn for Matram Sport in association with Caldwell Boxing proudly presents the main event, the fight of the night. 12 rounds of boxing for the Commonwealth Lightweight Championship. Sponsored here by Daffo Bet and North Fire. Coming to you live on Sky Sports, we continue to bring you the very best ringside seat in the business. All the officials have been appointed by the British Boxing Board of Controls, Commonwealth Council, our supervisor, Al Hayes. And now, the three scoring judges at ringside, Richie Davis of All Hallows, Steve Gray of Fleetwood, and Victor Lachlan of Paisley, Scotland. Timekeeper at the bell is Andrew East, and the referee in charge, Mark Green of Romford. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to war. Introducing to you the challenger. Fighting out of the red corner, wearing a red trunks, two with silver rain here. Nine stone, eight pounds, six ounces, and a 24 fight record. 19 wins, 13 inside, the scheduled distance, and five defeats. He comes to the ring as the former English light world weight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, we present the challenger, known as the Troll Hunter, from Driftfield, Curtis Woodhouse. And now, the champion, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white trunks, trimmed with blue and yellow, weighing in at nine stone, eight pounds, 15 ounces. A 43 fight record, 33 wins, 18 inside the scheduled distance. Eight losses and two draws. Ladies and gentlemen, he's a former British champion at the holder of the World Lifestyles Challenge belt. The former European and World Title Challenger. He is the reigning and defending Commonwealth Lightweight Champion, making his first defense from the beautiful city of Liverpool. It's dirty. All right, gentlemen, I spoke to you both in the dressing rooms. You know what I expect from both of you. Any questions? Shake hands, let's go. Good luck. If you've got any questions now, you're probably in the wrong place. No questions as we expected. The one thing everybody seems to agree on, and I've spoken about this, Jim, is enjoy it while it lasts, because most people think this is not going to go the full distance. Well, Curtis Woodhouse is uh, quite categorical. He says he's going to turn this, uh, this into his kind of fight, and that means a uh, toe-to-toe war. We'll see if he can do that, and we'll see if he can cope with it when it happens. Woodhouse in the red. Matthews in the silver with the yellow trim. Woodhouse absolutely explosive in his last outing when he put Joel Feed on the floor in the first couple of rounds, stopped him in the third, and he's come out firing here. He says he's very good at the weight. He's got a dietitian on board for the last three fights, so he'll make lightweight easily. He did. Derry always seems to just come in a few ounces under the lightweight limit. But the big question is, how does Curtis Woodhouse deal with Derry Matthews' power? He is still... A big, big puncher. Just asked Tommy Coyle, who was wiped out by that left hook from hell. And these are powerful shots that Matthews is throwing straight away. Woodhouse says, prepare to commit himself. But uh, you don't want that to be the downfall. He's uh, already been forced to cover as he comes forward. So Matthews, not, no range finders here. He's letting the shots go. A good right hand from Woodhouse. Uh, Woodhouse is going to try and make, make fire with fire here, and he said he wants to turned it into a tear-up and Terry's response to that was well you won't have to come looking at me for that these are good right hands from Matthews are landing in the forehead but that's the target area that's another good right hand there from Curtis Woodhouse but he's catching a few here as you say coming in
the body shot. Just to back to catch on there, I think Woodhouse, he grabbed hold, just looked a little bit uncomfortable there for a split second. Yeah, and Woodhouse, I think, really did feel that one. And Matthews looking to try and land another one downstairs. I think, right. Well, I'm the guy that's supposed to be weak in the midsection, and he has been stopped on body shots more than once in his career, Derry Matthews. Woodhouse said that's what he'll exploit. He'll try to at any rate, but look at that. Matthews going to work again and then switching upstairs. That was a big right hand. Woodhouse took it well. Matthews is boxing so well. How solid does he look there? Just standing his ground. And Woodhouse is the one who's come down through the weight divisions, but who looks the giant in there at the moment? And Woodhouse was hurt by that right as well, and he was hanging on. Uh, hurt two or three times in his opening session. Caught with a left hand there as well. Matthews is opening this one up early. Well, Woodhouse says, make this my kind of fight. Well, if this is the fight he came with in mind in his second place after the first round, he's got to come up with something else. He needs more to his game than what he's shown in the opening round here. Full credit to his courage, but he's walked on to too many shots and too many powerful shots. Yeah, he can't do 12 rounds of this. And he's got Matthews up on the ropes at the bell, but... That was Derry's round, without question. Well, a big step up this for Curtis Woodhouse and the suspicion there in that opening session, Jim. It's a bit out of his depth. Yeah, and when you step up a level, what you want is a good start because you're looking to build confidence. Well, quite the opposite that happened to Curtis Woodhouse there. Derry has been saying before the fight it's all about levels. I felt like a lot more to his game than Curtis, and that was proven in the opening round. We'll see if uh, Woodhouse can come up with something else. Yeah, what adjustments will John Pegg, his trainer, have made? He's, uh, he's lived in Birmingham with his mother-in-law Monday to Friday for the last eight weeks. Woodhouse to train with Pegg in the West Midlands. Oh, caught with another right hand there again. Matthews is really picking some nice shots here and looking razor sharp. And look how compact Matthews looks as well. I mean, he's been here and done it so often. Just looking so confident and so powerful. Well, Derry Matthews doesn't do easy nights. We've seen so many real tear-ups when he's been involved. But is this going to be a comfortable one for him? Or Woodhouse still trying to make something happen for himself. And he's such a brave man, Woodhouse getting a couple of jabs going there. He will go out on his shield, you can be sure of that. But... Matthews is picking him off with some powerful punches. And nothing that Woodhouse has done has made the slightest impression on Matthews, and that's a big problem. He's thrown some decent punches, he's got himself into punching range well, but not. They're either missing or bouncing off, and he's taking bigger punches coming back. I've always said this, Jim. Physically, Matthews just looks such a monster of a lightweight. Yeah. And here he is. Is, is Matthews is the natural lightweight, it's Woodhouse that's coming down, but if you didn't know anything about Curtis Matthews, you'd think he'd moved up. Yeah, that's what I was saying in the last round, who looks the giant in there? I mean, Woodhouse has come down from over 11 stone when he started taking the game seriously. Yes. better in this round, Woodhouse, but there's still the quality stuff coming from Maddie, a good body yeah, shot. body shot there. Woodhouse a little dip at the knees momentarily. That's the thing, he's, he's, he's bounced some decent punches. Off his opponent here, Curtis Woodhouse, but when he does, Matthews comes back and really hits with purpose. You can feel Matthews' punches from here, they are hurtful. And Matthews still gets himself in a terrific shape at this stage in his career. I mean, he must train like a demon. Another good body shot, switching it upstairs as well, Matthews getting tagged there, but doesn't seem to be bothered by Woodhouse's power. He's taking a backward step or two here, trying to draw Woodhouse up to him. Too clever tactic because Woodhouse got through there. Well, Woodhouse needs a little bit of success, he got it there. He needs to, to get the feeling that he can hurt Matthews, that he can gain his respect. And these are better punches coming from Woodhouse at the moment. Yeah, when this fight was made, Jim, my first thought was it's only nine weeks, you know, since he got battered, Derry Matthews, by Tommy Coyle, and yeah, he found the big knockout stoppage, which was incredible, but you wonder how much that had taken out of him and how much recovery time he'd had. Well, I thought, you know, the 
the first round. Curtis Matthews was completely bossing this. He had his moments in the second round as well, but Woodhouse was settling down. Yeah, we landed some decent punches in the second round, Woodhouse, Corners. which was much needed just to gain his confidence a little bit. But uh, Derry did a little, little smile of acknowledgement at one time. Second but still the quality of work is coming from him. So Derry Matthews, the champion. Curtis Woodhouse in the red, the man that wants that belt. Got through with the body shot at the end of that second round, Woodhouse. And that is the Matthews area of weakness. His body shots that undid him in this ring back in January 2012 when he lost to a veteran Italian, Emiliano Marsili. He looked at terrible results at the time. Marsili went on to become European champion which put some context in it. And then Matthews, three months later, boxed Anthony Crawler, a massive underdog, but it was Matthews with the stoppage to win the British title. There's another body shot coming in. Woodhouse is settling down and starting to find his feet here. Yep, he's warming to the task now. Woodhouse has found that little bit of confidence that he escaped him in the opening round. Matthews. Uh, look at this, Woodhouse is getting through. A little Stone. more head movement, more movement from the waist from Woodhouse, which is clever. That's what's getting them close without taking the straight punches. This is good work. Yeah, he's up the Woodhouse. tempo as well, Jim. He's significantly up the work rate. Just to see how much Derry Matthews has got. How much? Go back to that hole fight. I was just talking about that at the end of the last round, Jim. I mean, that must have taken something out of him. Is nine weeks enough time to fully recover? Well, probably the answer is yes. If you're Danny Matthews, I think that's where you look at this guy's in better. Probably needed nine hours, never mind nine weeks. Well, he's missing a bit in this round. Woodhouse he's making an impression. Don't hold him, Matthews. Stop holding Matthews, we're hearing the referee calling. Better from Matthews. But Woodhouse is starting to turn this into a tear-up. And Woodhouse not allowing Matthews to control the pace. Just little signs of discomfort from Matthews. No damaging punches yet from Woodhouse. That's better getting through with the left hand there. Matthews. Well, Woodhouse definitely the aggressor here. That won't bother Matthews too much. He's comfortable on the back foot. But he's really stepped it up here, Curtis Woodhouse. Well, I'm wondering if Woodhouse is thinking, I can't do this for 12 rounds. I'm going to use what I've got and use it now. Just maybe two or three rounds, get everything I have in the tank. Because the, the way things looked in the early stages, if that continued, he had no chance. So good on him because uh, what he's doing is working in this round, working a lot better. Taking a lot out of himself in the process, but good round for him. He's got to keep coming to strong kids, but you've got to shake him with the jab. Everything tough. The man of Ivor, this is what you're going to do. Danny Ward with his back to us, the trainer of Derry Matthews in Glasgow. He goes up there for his camp. Very close relationship those two have. Vaughan uh, has been very good for Derry Matthews' career. But Curtis Matthews has certainly... Curtis Woodhouse, excuse me, has certainly found a foothold in this one. Can he build on that? Can he open up a few more advantages for himself here? Good left to the body there from Woodhouse. Matthews felt that. All right, boys, remember I've just told you, give me some space and work. Look at this, Woodhouse looking to be the physical governor in there. And then Matthews, though, says, no, that's not happening. And now Derry Matthews is the man going to work. And Woodhouse is under fire. And back he comes. Tear up time. Clean one, clean one. From Woodhouse, look at this, coming straight back at him. Now, 
up the thinking, Matthews tried to intimidate him there, standing his ground and blasting back for a few seconds. Didn't make any impression. Goal! Oh, that made an impression. That man taken everything. He doesn't know where he is. Done. All over. What a knockout again from Derry Matthews. That destroyed Curtis Woodhouse. Now it's terrific. Once again, he produces a good... And the, and the sportsmanship of the man, the first thing he wanted to do was to come over and commiserate with Curtis. He would stop one of his, one of his corner and grabbed him and hugged him. But he was trying to get straight over to Curtis Woodhouse. But that's what boxing's all about, and that's what this guy's all about. What a terrific advert for boxing, both these guys tonight. But what a terrific shot. We talked about different levels, and that's what it was all about. Massive effort from Curtis Woodhouse in that round in the previous round to get himself back into the fight. They took everything they had, but no way can you take a shot like that to continue. Terrific punch to finish the job. He's done it again, hasn't he? Derry Matthews never in a boring fight. That was explosive. I, mean, I don't know how Woodhouse got up. I mean, it was a real instinct, fighter's instinct, if you like, when he was in no position. He, had, he, he didn't know what country he was in. I didn't think there would be so much difference in power of punch between the two. I thought as far as power went that Curtis Woodhouse could hold his own against Matthews, but no, in the first round you could see the difference. When Matthews landed cleanly, it was knocking what Woodhouse onto his heels. There was always going to be a big problem. Woodhouse had to take chances to get close. He did that, he had some, some success, made a terrific effort, but he always felt the difference in power was going to catch up, and there you go, perfectly delivered, short punch, terrific shot, and then you see the legs as he tries to land, fighting hard, the guy's got, no questions there, but the referee, so it was pointless, reaching eight to see if he was okay, there's no way he could continue from that, terrific punch, terrific finish, terrific performance from both men. And the good news is, Curtis Woodhouse on his feet and okay, such tremendous respect between these two even when all the banter and the chat was going on on twitter as for that destructive finish again and at the press conference you could tell that they respected each other before and they certainly respect each other after as well you know when you see the legs react like that from a punch you know what the fight is over it collapsed to the floor I mean, look, you can see the way the legs stiffened and down he went. What heart he showed getting back up again within the two or three seconds, but no way could he continue. Terrific punch. It really was. Terrific. Well, Curtis Woodhouse said he wanted respect. He's got that. And he'll have to settle for that because Derry Matthews still has that Commonwealth lightweight belt. Ladies and gentlemen, timekeeper Andrew East has recorded a time of one minute and 14 seconds of the fourth round. The Woodhouse in no position to continue your winner. And still, the Commonwealth lightweight champion from Liverpool, Daddy Derry Matthews. And how about the challenger, ladies and gentlemen? An incredible journey, Curtis Woodhouse! It was never going to be easy for Curtis Woodhouse, the footballer turned fighter. He was in with a class act, Derry Matthews retains his Commonwealth lightweight title. The crowd sing his name as he beats his chest. We'll hear from him in a couple of minutes and get reaction from Tony Bellew and Paul Smith after this very quick break. The Commonwealth crown, a step too far for footballer turned fighter Curtis Woodhouse. Chopping right from Derry Matthews ends it in the fourth. There was no way back for the former million pound England under 21 star. Derry Matthews talking to Ed Robinson. Well Derry, still Commonwealth champion after one punch knockout. Did that go perfectly to plan for you? Yeah, to say the truth, it, it, it went everything what I'd worked on with Danny for six weeks in the gym. We've been working on a jab, step back. He's got, I knew how brave Curtis was, and I knew he was going to come on to it, so we practised a left hook, right hand, and it was right on the money. And, you know, Curtis is a great fighter, someone I've got a lot of respect for, and, you know, and he's a friend as well, so 
I'm happy for, for my performance, but I'm disappointed for, for himself and you know how, how, what he's done so far in his career. But I hope he can go on and, and to live an, another day. Do you know what I mean? Curtis was brave, but you said beforehand that boxing is about levels. Did you just prove you're a level above Curtis? Uh, listen, K Curtis might belong at Commonwealth level, but without sounding big headed and without sounding daft, but I feel as if I'm the, the level above. And you know, I, I see people out there at lightweight division. The lightweight division at the moment is, is the best in Britain. You know, we've got you look. You only have to look at, at the, the rankings who's there and. Surely I've got to be in the top top four, I think, with the, with the power of God and, and how big I am. So, you know, without, without sounding big-headed, I, I know I'm ready for the next level. And I work with Danny in the gym and for six weeks we'd worked on a left hook right hand and it was right on the money. For Tommy Coyle fight, I'd worked on the left hook. The only qualified would worked on the uppercut and I've landed the shot. And without this man guiding me in the right way, I, I wouldn't be where I am. Trainer Danny Vaughan. You started brightly. It seemed a little bit like Curtis was just coming into it. But you uh, had to step up a level. Yeah, li listen, well, I, in the changing room, Danny and George were going on to me. This album, it's going to be tough. I, I was expecting a tough night in here. I was expecting a few cuts because, you know, I still, I still always am in, in a fight. But I knew that if my boxing brain turned up tonight, I was going to win the fight and make it easy. I've told everyone I could make it an easy night. And, and in my eyes, I did. I didn't think I lost a round. And I thought he hit him in the first round. But, you know, a lot of respect to Curtis, and I hope he does come back, and I hope he does fight for the Commonwealth title, and I can move on. A difficult night for you, Dave Cole. Well, you represent both men, so bittersweet, I would think. Yeah, it is. I will. You know, everyone's going on about it. I'll always get a winner, no matter what. But don't forget, I always get a loser. So it's hard to see one of your fighters get knocked out like that. So it's it's not a case of you don't think about the win straight away. Derry's done brilliant. What a knockout, you know. And, and I'm I'm over the moon for Derry, but. One of my fighters got knocked out, so it was always going to be hard. And, and you know, seeing it like that, it was. Is Curtis okay? You spoke to him just afterwards in the ring. Yeah, he still, you know, he shook up. It was a good shot. It was, you know, it, I, th I think even when he was walking around the ring, he's still feeling the effects of it. But he's, he's all right. He's just, he's just devastated. His big chance, and he's, you know, he's got knocked out. So he's, you know, he's, he's on a downer. Terry, you talked about it being such a great division in Britain. Who are you going for next? I, I'm not one of them who go calling names, but I just don't see how the likes of people are getting shots at Mickey Burns at Ed and me and. I, I've beat him and drawed him and I thought I won the other fights as well. So are we I'm Anthony Crawler. Yeah, I'm talking about Anthony Crawler. How can he I mean good luck to him if he gets the fight with Ricky Baines, a credit to him and good luck to him and his team, but how can he get the fight with Ricky Baines ahead of me? He can't beat me. He's not the best in the Northwest. I am. So but, but if he does get the shot to the world title, good luck to him and may the best man win. Anyone in particular you'd like to fight? Maybe a third fight with Crawler? No, oh, well, listen, I, I want to. Yeah, I'd love a fight with Crawler again, and I think the people of the Northwest, not as much as the boxing world, would 